I personally have not had the chance to camp out in Ninnyville. I've heard it's been a fantastic time throughout the years, but uh, I just have been busy with other sports and other things throughout the years, and uh, I kind of wish I'd like to do it at some point, but didn't get the opportunity in my four years as a student. If you would have asked me what Paternoville was, I wouldn't be able to tell you what it is, but if you asked me what Ninnyville is, I could tell you what that is. I actually didn't know it was called Paternoville until like a couple months ago, so I mean, it hasn't really affected me in any way. Joe Paterno isn't the coach anymore, and I, I, I get it, but I don't think it was a necessary change. I mean, Paternoville w was an established name that had carried a lot of weight for years to come, and uh, a lot of people appreciate Joe Paterno's time as a coach, and um, I didn't think it was the most uh, pertinent change that needed to happen at the time, but uh, it's what they went with. Let's put it that way. Paterno used to be like such a big part of Penn State, and now like you have to change your name after everything that's happened, so I just think that like, we can't really pretend that Paterno like doesn't exist. Like the Penn State alumni and like the Penn State students are so close that I don't think that just changing the name of it would, I mean, split them up at all. I mean, the, the whole situation um, has caused rifts within the, the Penn State community, whether you're a current alum or an alum now and were a student back then so I don't I certainly don't think it brought us any closer together. I think just with like the turmoil that was happening it was probably a good um, decision just to like alleviate some of like the potential problems that could have occurred if we kept calling it Chernobyl. You know if, if I'm not mistaken this senior class was never here when Joe Paterno was the football coach at Penn State. I wasn't on campus at the time of the scandal so I can't say that the change has really impacted me in any way. It didn't affect me because it happened before I was here, uh, because since I've been here, it's always been Nittanyville. But I can definitely understand people who are older. I think that they would definitely be agitated just for the same reasons. I don't necessarily think it was right for them to take everything away from Joe Paterno like they did. They experienced a different Penn State that we did, and they have more to a tie to Joe Paterno than we do, just because we were at the tail end of his career, so we didn't understand it the way that they did students who are current today, their experience is not much different or if at all than students who were here five or six years ago. I think that all of the students here now, most of them, weren't really around like when the scandal actually occurred and they wouldn't under they wouldn't remember that it was Paternoville and now it's just Nittanyville. That's just how it is. I think uh, Nittanyville is you know, it, it's more it's, it's more sustainable. I mean, we're Penn State Nittany Lions. I think we've been that for a long time. I think we're going to be that in the future. It's not to say that Joe Paterno is not going to be a part of our legacy for a long time, but I think um, I, I really like the concept of going with who we are as a university, and I think uh, we're more than just Joe Paterno. It's kind of a new era of Penn State football. It's a new era of, uh, of Paternoville and Nittany Nittanyville. It's, um, you know, a lot of people associate Joe Paterno with the, the old style of, of Penn State football and, and now with James Franklin and Bill O'Brien since they've stepped in, it, it is a newer generation, it's a newer, it's a newer cycle. So uh, I think, yeah, I think it does divide a little bit of alumni and, and, and students right now, but I gotta say, I mean, at the end of the day, it's still Penn State football and I think we can all get behind that.